Ahoy, mates. My name is Hippo TC, and I'm the cursed captain of the Sea of Thieves. And, well, I used to be a toxic double gunner. However, I have recently fallen in love with a sword again and changed my scurvy ways. Well, some of them. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the tips and tricks you need to know about the sword so that you too can fall in love with this versatile weapon and become a bloodthirsty, sword-wielding, thieving pirate. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. First and foremost, the sword has seen a lot of changes over the years, but even with those changes, the sword continues to be a great weapon to have at your side. Now with this guide, there are a few key areas I wanna focus on. Sword damage, the sword lunge, dodging and blocking, weapon combinations and combat strategy. Let's start by covering sword damage. The sword does 25% damage per slash, and if you land a three hit combo, you will cause a total of 75% damage with the last slash of your combo, causing the enemy pirate to be knocked backwards. The lunge does 60% damage per lunge and allows you to hit multiple pirates at once, causes significant knockback, can't be blocked by an enemy pirate, and if you are able to hit another pirate, you can even do another lunge back to back, giving you even more of an edge in combat. I will share a little bit more on this technique later in this video. Now that we've covered the damage, let's take a closer look at the sword lunge. The sword lunge is quite possibly the most important skill to master on the seas. It will allow you to get around quickly, give you an edge in combat if used properly, and most importantly, give you the ability to achieve pirate king status by boarding unsuspecting ships from high places. Wow, that was a jump chat. That might have been the biggest one I've ever done before. All right, all right, we're gonna have to just go for it, dude. You can do the basic sword lunge by simply holding down the attack. However, doing the lunge this way will result in you not being able to move around as you prime up for your lunge. The better way to lunge is always block first and then do your lunge. This is what it looks like when you're trying to move around with lunging without blocking first. And this is how fast you are able to move around when lunging with your block up first. As you can see, there is a huge difference when you block. Once you build in the muscle memory to always block first and then lunge, the second thing you want to master is the jumping lunge. This is achieved by timing a jump at the right moment of your lunge. It does take some practice, but if you can master this, you will be able to use this against pirates, boarding other ships, getting around quickly on the seas, and even flying off cliffs to land the perfect sneak in someone's crow's nest. With that being said, here's how to do the jumping lunge technique. Now, I have slowed this down with the sound so you can hear the noise that the lunge makes and when you want to time your jump. Needless to say, mastering the lunge will come in handy. Now let's talk about some advanced tips and tricks with the lunge. If you are able to hit an enemy with your lunge, you can do another lunge back to back without any cooldown. This is achieved by simply blocking, jumping backward and lunging again. A great way to practice this technique is on skeletons. However, if you miss a lunge in combat, it can be very bad for you as there is a harsh penalty to your pirate's movements. You are unable to block or move for a few seconds. So using the lunge can have some serious consequences, but there is a way around them if you are fighting on a ship. If you're lunging and you know you're going to miss your lunge and if you want to avoid the penalty, well, all you have to do is grab onto an object on the ship to cancel the lunge. The harpoon, helm, ladder, cannons, basically anything you can grab onto will cancel your lunge, giving you the ability to avoid the harsh penalty. So definitely something to keep in mind. 
Now that we've covered the lunge, let's talk about dodging and blocking to evade your enemy. First, let's talk about the block dodge quick jump combo. When you bring up your block, you are able to jump in any given direction quickly, giving you the ability to dodge bullets from other pirates and keep the enemy pirates on their toes. In addition to the quick jump, you can also combine this with a regular jump and achieve what the sweaty players like to call bunny hopping. The technique goes like this. This is a great technique to master and spend some time on perfecting so that it can become muscle memory for you. You can use this to quickly get around enemy pirates, win one-on-one -on -one duels, and pretty much annoy the out of your enemies. Utilizing the block and jump, you can even move through enemy pirates and their attacks or blocks. I use this a lot as it gives me the ability to not only attack, but not get cornered because currently the game does not let you run through enemy pirate models. So this allows you to get around them and if they're blocking your attacks, it allows you to jump through their block, giving you the ability to attack from behind. Also, it's worth mentioning that blocking with my sword has saved my life more times than I can remember. If you're getting hit from another pirate sword and you have your gun out, quickly switch over to your sword, turn around, and block them from getting more hits on you. There's no point in making a trip to the ferry if you don't have to. Another thing I want to quickly mention is that you cannot attack another pirate through their three hit combo. So bringing out your block is the only way to protect yourself if they get the first hit on you. Now, one of my favorite things about this sword is that there's no ammo required, which means you are never going to find yourself in a situation where you cannot defend yourself, unlike some of those double gunners out there who will eventually run out of ammo. However, you want to make sure you have the right gun paired with your sword for the deadliest combo. So this brings me to my next topic, which is weapon combinations. My personal favorite combo to do with my sword is the eye of reach as it provides a long range shot a scope to shoot more accurately at distance and honestly i believe the hit reg on the weapon works the best over the flintlock and blunderbuss however every weapon has its own advantages and disadvantages i recommend checking out my top pvp tips and tricks video where i break down the weapons reload speeds hit fire and damage for each weapon the last thing i want to discuss with the sword is good combat strategies to help you survive and come out on top. To stay alive during combat, you must be on the move. A stationary target is easy to hit, but also easy to pin down. If you are up against multiple threats at once, you want to do your best to separate them from each other and fight them one on one. Sometimes this is easier said than done, and that is when a good sword lunge or blunder bomb will come in handy. So, no matter how you slice it, the only way to get better with the sword is to use it in combat and learn from your mistakes. You can also watch other people and learn from them as well. If you ever want to see these tips and tricks in action, feel free to stop by my Twitch channel where I stream regularly. Thank you so much for watching, mates. I hope this guide video helps you all become a little bit more ruthless on the seas. If there are any tips and tricks for the sword you would like to share, make sure to drop them in the comments below.